Triumph's newly announced 400 line is the first of a few important projects that are due to break cover over the next few months and should provide a simple and affordable way for the masses to get involved with the brand. G'day, I'm Quackjack, and today we're going to be talking about a buy coming from the well-loved manufacturer Triumph that may at first seem confusing, but when we look into it, makes complete sense. And what I think has all the makings to be a gigantic hit, the Speed 400. Now, a few weeks ago, I spoke about a new single-cylinder Harley-Davidson that was due to hit shores in India, the X440. This was a licensing deal between the American and Indian giants Harley-Davidson and Hero Motor Corp to basically slap the Harley name on their bikes, appeal to the masses, and get them back into that market. This move, however, from Triumph is a bit different, so let's get into it. First of all, this has been in the works for some time now. It's actually taken five years of development in partnership with India's Bajar, which is one of the largest manufacturers of two and three wheeled vehicles in the world and also has a substantial stake in KTM's parent company. So what we're getting is a 400cc line of their modern classic motorcycles and a design to be an entryway for millions of new customers around the world to become acquainted with the brand. It's actually not the first time they've attempted to do this either, with them in the past developing 250cc Indian made single cylinders like the Speed Single and Daytona 250 over a decade ago. Those projects were eventually dropped due to changing market conditions. But now that smaller, lighter, and more affordable bikes are coming back in, they're going to try and strike again while the iron's hot. So let's take a look at the new motorcycles. Unlike the Harley deal, this is not a branding exercise solely for India. These new Triumphs will be launched worldwide and are designed to be high quality yet affordable options to go up against the likes of BMW's G310R and KTM's 390 Duke and they'll be manufactured in three of Triumph's facilities in Thailand, Brazil, and Bajar's Indian one. It's got a newly designed TR series 398cc single cylinder engine with modern internals, which puts it in a class above of the likes of Royal Enfield with their 350cc offerings. The peak power is to be acclaimed 39.5 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 37.5 Newton meters of torque at 6,500, which will be delivered through an assistant slipper clutch to a six speed transmission. That means it's gonna be a competitive little machine machine in the beginner class, going up against the likes of the Duke's 43 horsepower and surpassing BMW's offering of 34 on the G310. It's a clever little bike too, coming with a traction control system as standard that is able to be switched off, an exhaust that hides the catalytic converter and front muffler to give the impression the pipe sweeps directly through to the end can, a ride by a wire throttle and Bosch fuel injection. You'll also have full LEDs throughout part digital, part analog instrument panel, and a USB-C charging port too. They don't seem to be skimping out on turny and stoppy bits either, with it having a 43 millimeter inverted big piston fork at the front and a remote reservoir monoshock set up at the back which is something that a lot of bikes in this class don't have. As for brakes, it is equipped with Brembo's lower cost brand, Vibre, having a 300 millimeter disc with radial mount four piston caliper at the front and a single floating piston caliper on a 230 millimeter disc at the back. And of course it comes with ABS as standard. It's coming in pretty light too, with a wet weight of only 170 kilograms. So I think it's shaping up to be a pretty competitive little bike in this class. That'll of course be helped by the modern classic retro styling that comes along with Triumph's bikes. And in my opinion, it kind of looks like a baby Trident. Right now, we only know about two new bikes coming to their new TR series, the Speed 400 and the Scrambler 400X. But I mean, you only need to look at the rest of their modern classics line to see where they could go with it next. Perhaps a more retro style bike or a cafe racer. There will of course be a huge range of optional extras that you can add on to, everything from new seats to windshields, um, exhausts and more. There's no denying that this class of bike is becoming very popular. I've actually just started a new job myself within the motorcycling world, which I'll talk about in a future video, but it gives me great insights into what people are buying. And the amount of small displacement bikes like this that I see flying out the door is phenomenal. With a brand name like Triumph bringing out a high quality bike for this class, I see it being a big hit for them. Now we don't currently have pricing. I expect to see that over the next few months, but if it's at the right point to make it competitive, with others like the BMW, it'll be a no-brainer for those looking for a stylish beginner modern retro. So what do you think? Would you buy a 400cc single cylinder Triumph? It's gonna be a worldwide bike and with a power level similar to the 390 Duke coming from a brand name like Triumph, I think it'll be competitive. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And while you're there, make sure to give this video a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with the latest in motorcycling news. Thanks again for watching guys. And until next time, see ya.
talking about the new ZX6R. Very, no wait, no we're not. We're talking about the new Triumph Speed 400. That's what we're talking about this week. Speed 400 Triumph. Yes, ZX6R was last week. As soon as these sirens stop, we'll get into it. Acquainted with the brand. Acquainted? Acquainted. Acquainted? No, that's not right. It will be manufactured by Triumph in three of their and it will be match and and they'll be manufactured and they'll be many and they'll be manufactured and they'll be manufactured by Triumph in that was quick, quick and easy. We just smacked it out this week. How good. No birds, no helicopters, no planes. Crazy.